So it's fall. It looks like it's winter, but it's fall. That makes it also football season. And that of course makes it Lego season. So we had, we had some requests and one of them we got was for the F4 Phantom. And that's what this is. F4 was developed in the late 50s, early 60s. Uh, it set, as soon as it came out, it set a number of records, um, including uh, it did a, a takeoff from the runway, something like from the runway to 50,000 feet in one minute, something like that. So that's a really fast elevator ride up. Um, it also, it was a, Essentially, it was an interceptor and a fighter bomber carried a, a, an enormous amount of ordnance. And it could do this because it had two very powerful engines uh, here in the back. You can see where the exhaust from the engines would have been. Uh, because it flew at such a high speed, uh, it had a number of aerodynamic things that had to be figured out. And that included this tip up on the wings, uh, helped give it stabilization. And then with that, they had to tip down the, the uh, uh, tail fins, um, again, gave it some stabilization. Generally a two-man aircraft. Uh, uh, it was famed as being the best distributor of MiG parts uh, in the world because it shot down so many MiGs over uh, North Vietnam. But uh, to be fair, the engineers who designed the missiles that it fired, get a lot of credit for that. A lot more, I think, than the pilots. The pilots, of course, were good pilots, but they, they didn't go to guns a lot when they were shooting down the um, MiGs. They used the missiles. Uh, very effective airplane. Uh, we used it even into the 80s as a, uh, a radar jamming plane. A lot of different militaries used it. The Germans used it. The uh, Israelis used it. A uh, number of Asian militaries used it, and it's actually still in use today. Uh, it is not in use by the American Air Force uh, or the American Navy uh, because we've we've very much outdone it at this point. Also, it was quite the chug-a-lug. It did uh, it did a lot of drinking of of fuel. It required an enormous amount of fuel to use its afterburners, um, but and that is what these were, by the way. These are drop tanks. Uh, that it would often take off with for its missions and then drop over Laos. You find these drop tanks being used all over the place, cut in half and, and used as uh, troughs for food and troughs for water and storage facilities. They're all over the place in northern Laos uh, and North Vietnam, northern Vietnam, I Flower should say. Flower planter boxes. Flower planter boxes. Yep. You know, the picture we have, the flower planter boxes are actually... The M82 bombs. Okay. Um, but very effective airplane for us through the 60s and into the early 70s. Uh, it's been phased out in the American military, but uh, it was a very good plane and um, one that people very much like. Um, the difficult build difficulty was in the uh, very front of the plane. Um, the uh, uh, canopy section is really sloping with this plane, more sloping than the standard canopies are for uh, from Lego. Uh, but I think this plane looks best straight on like this. Um, that's that's what it looks most like, uh, when it looks most like uh, the F4 Phantom. Anyway, F4 Phantom, it is now snow and football season, so we will have more airplanes come in in the future. And uh, yeah, have a good day. Good job, boo. Thank you, boo.